Right. Morning, everybody. Just have your feet shoulder width apart. Hang on, let me just move that down a bit. Right. Okay, so have your feet shoulder width apart. We'll we just start with this. Oh, we're. While we're waiting for people to arrive. Oh, we oh, we started the shade early. Oh, well, never mind. It's all right, isn't it? Makes up for the other times, doesn't it? So we're just turning the waist and allowing the arms, allowing the arms to move. Okay. Oh, I forgot to... Um, so just feel the ground under the feet. So. Um, I think everybody's picked up their t-shirts now, so I do have some leftovers uh, in the car. We've got, we've got a few, so if anyone else is interested in a t-shirt, come and see me afterwards. We'll see if there's any that you want. So we're all breathing. I know. So we 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 just started swinging early. We haven't, you know. We just so there's quite a lot of people here. So I thought well, we might as well. So, just sing and make sure your knees are in line with the toes. Make sure your knees are in line with the toes and you're kind of, it's almost like you're sitting down on a high chair. So, so while you're doing this, gently breathe in and gently breathe out. So we're going to go through the first nine moves of the Shibashi set part two that we looked at last week. I think we did the whole thing last week. Um, but I think it might be better to look at half of it in a little bit more detail. So we have a bit of a practice and then we, we haven't got so many things to cram in. And then we can do the last nine, like next week or the week after, depending on how well we do today. So, just show you that from the side. Hello. So we'll keep, keep doing this. So feel the ground under the feet. Yes. Float up through the crown of the head, sink down through, um, sink, sink down in the hips.
Can you hear me okay on Zoom? My... Brilliant. Okay. There, there should be, we've got one person missing, but the um, Amy will be coming a bit later on Zoom. So you won't be on your own. <laughs> so we've got one. Very, thanks for coming. <laughs> so we've got... Wow. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. So focus on the lower back. Focus on the lower back. And you're you're floating. You're floating through the crown of the head. Keep breathing some more. Marvellous. Notice the breath as it comes in. Notice the breath as it comes out. And can you can you hear me at the back of the hall? Not really. All right. Come forward. You're miles away. No. The pro the problem with the hall is it gets really echoey. So even if I project my voice, the echo makes it really hard to understand what I was talking about. Not that I make much sense normally anyway, but um, how are we doing? So don't forget to turn your waist, this area, turning, turning, turning. That's it. Marvellous, okay. Watching out for your neighbours. So we're, we're going through half of the 18, second 18, at a more leisurely pace. That is the plan today. But we'll make sure all our joints are walled up. Okay, let's have a little bit of a shake out. Now we're all mostly here. We'll actually start with this movement. Let's breathe in. We'll come back to the loosening and the warming up later, but breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So, uh, I'm quite thrilled. Um, Grandmaster Chen Shao Wang's coming in May, and I've, uh, there was a, you can train with him for a day for just over a hundred quid, uh, but in Reading they're doing, they're only, they're limiting the number of people, so you can only get 12 people, so they're charging 250 quid for a day of training, and they've had to ration it out. Because everyone wants to train with Grandmaster Chen Shao Wang. So I'm, I've got the Thursday. I'm coming on Thursday. So I've just got to find him. Um, so I'll be seeing him one day in Reading and maybe a couple of days in London. Uh, and it's the first time he's been to this country in well over decades. So it's pretty good. So until he turns up, I'm having to up my practice. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. So you want to be aware of what you are sensing. Mm. 
arms relax. Check your posture. Tune into the feet. So what we'll do is just wiggle the toes, wiggle the toes, and move each toe individually if you can. And then draw the toes in, stretch the toes out. Draw the toes in, stretch the toes out. Draw the toes in, stretch the toes out. One more time. Okay, now this time, we're going to walk forwards and back, relax around the lower back. And then come up and down. Come up and down. Come up. And down. So when you go down, it's a slow descent. So slow, 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 slow. Up. And down. Nice. It's like marvellous. Very good. And then we're going to take a slightly wider stance with a bit of a bounce. Just chew, just feel into your feet. Feel your feet. And we're going to very gently transfer the weight. Very gently transfer the weight. We're all breathing. Very good. Just breathe in, breathe out. Keep breathing some more. So, and nice and tall, really open your space. That's better. So, Good. Okay. So bring the feet into the shoulder width and just very gently bounce. Very gently bounce. And we're all breathing. And shake. And then go up, 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 spread, and release. Up. Very good. Let's do that again. So you, you get it nice and long first, really long in the arms, and you're connecting through the body. And we go up, 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 up. Stretch and one more time. See, I think that's one of my favorite exercises. Uh, 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 keep the shape going, keep the shape going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, stretch and then release. Oh, that's much better. Okay, let's just do we'll whiz through the loosening very quickly. Because I want to get on with it. 
So just let the arms drop down first, though. The arms fall. Allow the arms to fall down and fall up. That's better. Yes. Turn the palms up. Very good. And change. So while you're, you're doing this, you want to just gently breathe and also notice, notice the process of breathing. Four, three, two, one. And we'll do that one. And slightly wider stance. Do the the bouncing from one foot to the other with the swing. And this is in slightly slightly shorter horse stance. It's like a small horse stance. Then you go into monkey pose. Monkey pose. Yeah. And then if you're feeling up for it, but only only if you can get back up again, turtle. Do it in turtle. And then that's better for the lower back. Doing it in turtle stance. Okay, we won't spend too long in turtle. Go back to monkey. Back to monkey. And then back to horse. There we are. So there's a lot of wildlife in Tai Chi, isn't there? Amazing. And then one, two, three. 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 Five, two, three. Six, two, three. Seven, two, three. And eight, two, three. Fabulous. Very good. Okay. So, um, extend the fingers, and then when you're, you're doing, I'll show you from the diagonal view. Go like this. We're nice and tall. We're turning the waist. See, turning the waist. Turning the waist. Take it from the back. Four foot So this is floated. This is tucked in a bit, and from the other side. And then wobbly. Well, I think that was the fastest we've been through the loose all the loosening exercises ever, isn't it? And might. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of shape. Just break up and sit feet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My hands One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Opposite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then everybody's favorite. This one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Very good. Okay, and then for even more fun, this side. Okay, nice and nice and tall. So when you're when you're doing this, stay upright, and and think about your spine alignment, spine alignment, and also get the hips nice and level. If you if you can't do that, just do this, and that's that's just as good because you're still moving things. Okay, for fun. Ready, go. One, two. Three, four, halfway, five, marvellous. Keep going, keep going, six, keep going, seven, and for fun, eight. Very good. So uh, the variations you can do on, on that exercise is if it's not challenging enough for you, you can do it with the hop. You hop, hop, hop. Hop, if you want to do that, and you can also, uh, on the hand that's not uh, touching the leg, you can do a punch. So you can go one, two, three, four, and really confuse your brain. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. We'll try that. We'll develop. Not, not, not today. But if you're at home, you might be on hold you know, or waiting for the plumber. You know, while you're waiting for the plumber, and then you can do it with a hole. And then that will, you know, and by the time the plumber arrives, your IQ will have gone up because of the extra brain connections, you know. Anyway. Yeah, let's do the shoulders. <laughs> Very good. Three. Oh, that's so nice. Four, five, and six, and then six in the other way. So nice, big movement. Two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Shake the shoulders, and then like this, and we close. Take it. Round the back. Open. Step behind that, open it, arms behind the middle, uh, the center point. Arms behind the midline, so like this, so you get a proper stretch. And you go into the heels, ball of the foot. Into the heels, ball of the foot. That's it, very good. Fantastic. Okay. New back stretch. So you turn, breathe in. Breathe out. One, two, three. Breathe in. Cross, stretch. Breathe out. One, two, three. Breathe in. Breathe out. One, two, three. Breathe in. Breathe out. One, two, three. One more time each side. Breathe out. Up, breathe in. Breathe out. 
Hang waves. <laughs> One more time. And other side, paint waves his wings. And one more time. There we go. That way. So transfer the weight, get your pausing position right, and then extend the arms. Then put it back where you found it. Then transfer, angle, extend the arms. Turn the head one, two. Then, if it feels right, then make the movement a bit bigger. Otherwise, just do a small movement. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, semicircle. Semicircle to the corner, semicircle to the corner. Let's go back to this one. But nice and really kind of relaxed, very good. Oh, nice. So, we're doing the half, first half of the second 18 set. So, the first movement is this one. So, you come up, breathe in. And then breathe. Like this. Feel the rotation in the shoulder um, joint and then sink. sink. Feel the feet. Really tune into your feet. Very strange noises coming from the pool today. 
How are we doing on Zoom? Yeah, that's it. So, come a little bit closer. So you're, you're coming up, you're coming up like that, it's straight, and then comes down. That's much better, yeah. Very good, everybody. Let's do one more. So normally in the form you do it like six times, but because we're practicing, we can do a few more rounds. Okay, and then um, circling the palm. So you come like this, you breathe in. It comes, I'll show you from the diagonal view. It comes up to about nose height. Then you point forward with the fingers and you breathe out. And use the legs, use the legs. And you're staying upright. You stay upright. I find this one really calming and it's good for focusing. Up, up, down. Very good, everyone. All right, we can, yeah, we know that one now. Good. Just let the arms relax. So put, turn one foot out. Now keeping the, on the tram lines, go step forward into bow and arrow stance. And sink forward and turn. And then just let the arms float up. And then this palm goes up, palm up. And palm down, or you can twist as well. Actually, you can twist both palms. It's a more advanced version, and then you sink back. Now, when you do the other palm, this foot turns out, and your toes come up, and then you come forward. And back. So when you, when you do this proper, you do it three times each side, but we're just practicing. So we're giving it a couple more goes. That's really good. Okay, try that on the other side. So gently place your feet in the right spot. Come forward, palm comes up. And it's like you're you're reaching, like you're reaching forward. Like maybe someone's gonna drop, I don't know, 50 pounds in or something. And then you go back and then raise the toes. So there's a bit of in fact the you can you can even do the lift the heel off the ground if you want to get an extra stretch. If you want to get an extra stretch. I, I kind of just do it more sitting into that front foot rather than reaching over too much, my own personal preference. And the arms just swing, and there's a body turn, You're turning, turning the waist as well. Beautiful, very nice. Okay, uh, needles at the bottom of the seabed. So you come up like this, you breathe in, make a circle, then make these V shapes. V shape, that's it. And then you go into cat start, point the toes towards the corner, and then you point the golden needles down into the seabed. Then you come back up in the middle, breathe in, breathe out. So your weight is, if you want, you could lift the foot off the floor. Your weight is on the back leg. Your weight, forget, forget the arms. Look, this is very light. Very light, your weight is in the back leg. Put your weight in the back leg, that's it. So you can lift this foot up. 
put your weight on the back leg. So you can bend, but you want your weight on the back leg. So this is empty. You could do it like this if you wanted. So you don't even need to lift the foot off. So you need to get your weight in the right place. Okay, let's try that again. Very good. Breathing. Nice and tall. Nice and round. Circular motion. And then you go down. And you keep your weight in the back leg. Then you come up. So it means that foot is easy to move. If there's no weight in that foot, you can move the foot very easily. See? That's getting better, yeah. Yeah, indeed. You can even do it with it in the air. And just, that's quite hard. <laughs> so even though you're leaning forward, you want to sink your weight into the back. Sink your weight back. That's it. It's a good one for developing balance. I'll show you from the um, I'll show you from the back view. My weight is sinking back. There's hardly any weight at all in the front foot. And then what's more you feel marvelous. Very good. Okay. Fisherman pass the net. <laughs> Top hands. So you've got your fingers pointing to the side. Fingers point to the side. Fingers point out. Turn. Palms forward, fingers to the side. Palms forward, fingers to the side. That's it. Transfer. That's perfect. Palms forward, palms forward, fingers to the side. That's it. And you're upright, upright. Yeah, much better. That's really good. Well done, everyone. So that was Fisherman past the net. Excellent. Next one. Immortal fairy points the way. So, yeah, I think it's something in the translation, isn't it? So you may we'll do that. We'll, we'll we'll split it into we'll split it into some uh, components. So we just go like this. That's a movement in it. It's a nice circle, and you're you're using your you're using the waist, turning the waist. Really, try it in the other direction now. Very good. Okay, so there's that one, and then there's the pointing bit. So you make those shapes again, uh, like this, and you point. And you point. So we'll just do the pointing. So that's the other component of this move. Okay, the other thing you do is you go behind. Step. It's a bit like uh, line dancing. So that's the other bit. Okay. And then we put them all together. Okay. Demonstration. Observe. Immortal fairy points the way. 
it's that way. And then you go, oh no, it's not, it's that way. How do I get to the train station? Well, you go this way, <laughs> and you go this way. So join in, join in. So it's a circle and a point. Circle, point. Circle, point. Oh, beautiful. Now try and look a bit more immortal than fairy like, please. Now, yeah, I think we've got that. We've got that. that looks amazing. It's kind of a bit thick of um, Saturday Night Fever, you know. <laughs> So, um, if you want it more uh, advanced, you can do a more advanced version where you go all the way down and then you come up and then you come all the way down and come up. If you want to do it that way, but you might want to just do it this way is good enough, you know? Right, so that was the Immortal Fairy. Uh, I think that's the sixth move. Ah, now we've got the mischievous urchin stretches their legs. So, so, I can. so you come up and you kick, then you come back and down. Uh, and they do this in the form, they do this like, I think it's 18 times each leg, but when it, when it, it really is murder. But it's got quite a kind of bounce. And it's quite hard to keep. This is a really good one for developing balance or at least making you fall over quite successfully, I find. It's very good for helping you fall down. So maybe do a little less enthusiastically. It's, or may, maybe do it like that with your friends and then, you know, lean on each other's shoulders. That might work. Um, it's a bit like being in a chorus line, isn't it? There we go. Okay. Is that 18? I've lost count. Should we do one more? One more? One more? Oh. Hang on, let me do it properly. Right, that was the mischievous urchin. Okay, and then we've got the immortal crane, and then we've got the yellow dragon, and then that's the first half, and that'll, that'll do it. So the immortal crane, I really like this one. You breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So you're a crane, so you're a little bit of a snob. You know, when you're doing this, it's got this real snobby feel. And you're like, hmm. That's it. No, like, like you own a couple of mansions or something, I don't know, but. <laughs> One more time, so that's wonderful. Really good, everyone, you look amazing. Look at that, fantastic. Fantastic, right. Then we've got the yellow dragon shows its claws. So you come up like, it's a slightly wider start. Come up like this, you breathe in, make a fist, and then you go. Yeah. So it's like, you know, big yellow dragon. Yeah, okay, so come up. That's it. So when you when you go down, you stay up. Oh, I'll show you the um, the side view. One more time. Right. Fantastic. And then 
Press the palms in palms. So this is actually the last thing. So I've oh, done 10 moves. Yeah, I think doing half feels better, doesn't it? Yeah, good. So we'll have another go at the first half next week. Then the week after we do the second half, for however long we need to do the second half for. And then we do uh, the whole thing, having done both halves a little bit more in detail. Yeah. Okay, just, just for fun, let's uh, raise hands like clouds, but we'll do it as a walking forwards and a walking backwards exercise. So we'll do it sideways first, sideways, 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 sideways. Very good, then we go forward, one, two, three, four, and then we go back. One, two, three, four, we go forward, one, two, Three, four, go back. One, two, three, four. So a little bit of walking, not as much as I'd have liked, but hey. Brace the tiger, return to the mountain, breathe in. So we're just finishing off for tea break number one and uh, those of you that are coming that are staying for the extra bit will go through the first third of 24 step we'll start looking at detail probably in the next couple of weeks but we're just going through flowing it and then we're looking at white eight off script so we're doing those two two things okay let's let's look uh, super young, super young. So rub, rub the hands together, very good. And polish the face. So nice, thick, smooth, and useful thoughts. Ah, very nice. Oh, that's so nice. And then underneath, you go one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's working, you know, that one. I could definitely feel less, you know. Eva swears by it. She said it's really good for making your face look younger. If you do that one and that one, it makes your face look younger. I don't know if it's true or not. She, she is convinced that it is true. And rub the lower back. So, yeah. Embrace the time. Turn to the mountain. So really solid connection through the feet. One more time. That beautiful. Really good. I, I quite like doing this twice, actually. Once in the beginning and once at the end. I think that's really good. Okay. Just stand, feel the ground, and notice your breathing. Make fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together, and back. One more Very good. Okay. We shall have some water, water break, and then we'll we'll go and do the form. I'll just pause the uh, recording. Well, they'll let them know. Okay, due, due to popular request, we're doing a white tape off as fruit, followed by the first third of the form, followed by white tape off as fruit. So we're making a sandwich. I'll just move this back here. 
Oh, nice music. Oh, God. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm almost a bit. It's a bit out of So we'll face it this way. Do the high take off the screw. So you start with your right hand on the top, left hand underneath. Nice and tall. Right, right take off the screw. Step. Oh, it seems like someone playing the didgeridoo, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, I love the didgeridoo. My friend, uh, the manager on the thing played the didgeridoo. And uh, he's very good at it. <laughs> oh, it's the builders making the most popular voice. No, oh, they finished yet. They've been doing it forever. This is what says very good, very good. So I'm, I'm trying to work out where I'm going to get 400 pounds from, so I can see Grandmaster Chen Shao Wang. Oh, it's fine. I'm going to have to get yeah. 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 And then do one more. 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 Do Chen Yin Jun. It's how he does. That's how he gets back to where he starts. He does this. It's, it, it's nice. It's quite nifty, isn't it? It's quite nifty. Okay, let's do that again. So nice and tall. Step. Oh, before actually, before we do that, let's just do a bit more loosening. Let's do some loosening and some shaking just to make sure we're running off of these. Uh, I've sat in swimming pool way today. I mean, like, we need, I suppose we do need more patches, but do we really? No. Uh, I don't know, because there seems to be extra work being built all around Cambridge as well. And in Exley, my friends in Exley, they've got, they used to have a really nice field they used to look across. And now it's houses. Yeah, it's a drainage, yes. That's correct. It's the. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Right. Why is that on the just do another round. Walk backwards and then go through the first third of the floor, and then do white tape and screw again. There we go. Just... So these are the feet. Feel the weight of the safe forward, forward, sit back. Sink forward, sink back, there we go. I love 
it's great. It's a really useful trick. Okay, let's go through, face this way. Let's go through the first third of the form. So we're going from the beginning to the end of step back of the pulse of the monkey. And stay that side of me. I'll, I'll face forward, then I'll turn around, and I'm going in the same way as everybody. So, um, so we're just uh, nice, and, nice and tall. Really almost in there. Right, that's it. Breathing in and out. So we'll, we're, we're still just going through it and then we'll be looking at some detail at some point when it's more like just hearing the tune and we'll look at the nuts and bolts a bit at some point. Let's just get into the flow. We're just flowing. So breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Ah, oh, bring the hands in. We'll turn around. See down. Transfer the weight. Turn, push out, down on the Part of our course is made. Take the back of the turn, sit forward, and then cat stance. Cat stance. Okay, I'll mirror. This time, side step, side step, grasp the sparrow's tail, white crane spreads its wings. White crane spreads its wings. Be beautiful white crane. Very nice drop. Right hand, and then top, brush knee, and push. Twist step, sink forward. Brush knee and push. Twist step, sink forward. Brush knee and push. Spear hand, tuck down. Step back and pulse the monkey. One. Two, so you use your feet. Three, and okay. And then just for fun, we'll, we'll do that more next week. Let's do why take off his fruit a bit more. Is that one? Try, try a smaller version. Try a smaller version. So we're doing really small, really understated. So you do baby white tape. See? And then do the big version. Big version. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fantastic. Okay, come round in a in a circle. We're gonna stop the tea. Marvelous. So we're just breathing. Nice and tall. Tai Chi symbol. So we're practicing this going from side to side, side to side, side to side, side to side. Breathing. Easy. One more time, beautiful. Plum blossom falls left and right. Plum blossom. Beautiful blossom falling down. So when you next see some blossom, you can join in now. You know, as it goes down, you can do it too. No one will think we're weird at all. Yeah, put a, a clothes peg on your nose. It's a bit of hay fever. Or antihistamine. Take some antihistamine. And then and then you can do the plum blossom without it affecting your um, nose. That's a shame. Yeah, my, my other half is allergic to grass pollen, and he's having a really bad time. <laughs> Everything, yes. Okay. Lotus leaf 
sways in the breeze. You're not allergic to lotus leaves, are you? No. We'll find out. Okay, triple heater. One more round. Well, wonderful. Well done, everyone. That was great. We're all going to have some tea now and maybe a lie down. Excellent. So, well done. That was brilliant. And we'll, we'll do more. And ho hopefully, see you um, tomorrow. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Thanks to those of you watching at home on YouTube. Good job.